Hello everyone, welcome to Usborne Books and More. My name is Nicole Spiegel and I'm your independent consultant. I wanted to show you today one of my favorite chapter books from Kane Miller called Anna Hibiscus. It is by the author Atanuke, who is a Nigerian author now living in Wales. Atanuke grew up with an English mother and a Nigerian father, and so she wrote these books saying that she really wanted children to be able to experience the Africa that she knew growing up, and she does a wonderful job of that. Um, let's look inside. There are beautiful sketches on almost every page. The story is actually divided up into four different stories. So each chapter is um, is a complete story. Um, Anna Hibiscus is a young girl who lives with her Canadian mother and her African father and all of her aunts and uncles and cousins and grandparents. They all live in a compound in the city. And so each story explains a little bit more about the culture that she's growing up in and just her ways of figuring out things as she grows up. So the first story is about going on vacation because they want some alone time and then they realize that actually it's really hard without everyone there to help. And so they figure out ways to solve that. The second story is about Anna's Auntie Comfort who went to America and is coming back for a visit but everyone is worried that she will not remember the traditional African way of doing things like um, wearing the traditional African clothes, that she might come in tight tight jeans and that she will want to use a fork and a knife instead of her hands while she is eating and of course the children are most worried that she will not remember that she is supposed to bring presents for all of them after coming back from a long trip. So Anna takes things into her own hands and we find out what happens then. The next story is Anna Hibiscus Sells Oranges and Anna is getting kind of bored of being in her compound and just playing with her cousins so she decides that she's going to go out with the young girls who sell oranges on the street to help pay for their families food and she's very successful at it because she has nice new clothes and fresh oranges but because she is successful and the other girls do not sell many of their oranges she learns that there are some consequences and her grandfather teaches her how to make things right with um, with the girls and, and how to be grateful for what she has. And the last story is about Anna and how she just loves snow. She's obsessed with snow, but no one in her family besides her Canadian mother has ever seen snow. And so she spends the whole story driving everyone crazy, trying to figure out how to best replicate snow in Africa until finally her grandmother from Canada writes her a letter and they find a solution for her to be able to finally experience what snow is like. So that is Anna Hibiscus. If you are interested in this book, please check out my website or talk to me about hosting a party and I would love to include it in your free books. Thank you so much for joining me.